Today I'm going to be talking about my first ever feature in an exhibition, which is insane, absolutely insane. So much seems to be happening this September. Featured in my first exhibition, talking at the photography show in Birmingham, giving up my job. It's just, it's a crazy month. Amber from The Carousel in Nottingham reached out to me and said that in conjunction with She Hearts Film with Analog Wonderland, they were putting on an exhibition of female film photographers um, and that they'd like me to have one of my images in that exhibition. I sent over a portfolio of various things and they picked out one of my sprocket hole images to feature in the exhibition. <laughs> I travelled to Nottingham for the opening party, opening celebration, I don't even know what you call it. That was a long old journey. I went with my husband. Me and my husband have not been away for a really long time, so we decided to make a long weekend of it. We travelled up on the Friday and then came home on the Monday, whereas our friends joined us on the Saturday for the actual opening. It just so happens that it's between mine and my husband's birthday, so they, they kind of joined us uh, for, for a birthday dinner and then also to come to the exhibition, which was really lovely. It was just a really lovely opportunity to meet some people that I've chatted to online. I've never been in a situation where you go up to me and go, oh, so are you so-and-so of such and such an Instagram handle? <laughs> I was blown away by the quality of the other artists. And again, I think like there's that imposter syndrome where I just thought like, oh my God, is my work good enough to be amongst all these amazing photographers? But it's really hard to look at your own work with an unbiased eye. I can't look at it. I mean, I don't know if I'm the only one or whether that's just a common thing, but I can't look at my work next to other people's work and critique whether it's good enough to be next to them or not. I don't know. It was just such an honor to be in the exhibition, to go and meet these wonderful photographers and, I mean, photographic artists. I mean, I don't even know whether some of what we were looking at was even photography or whether it was just, whether you would classify it as photographic art. For instance, I mean this is a bit of a uh, theoretical discussion, but um, there was one lady who did these beautiful um, cyanotype eggshells. Is that photography? Does photography need to have a camera? Is photographic art a broader term under which photography falls? I don't really, I don't really know. I have just had some really amazing news as well. The exhibition was originally supposed to be going on for three weeks from Saturday the 4th of September, uh, but yeah, carrying on for three weeks with workshops being held each weekend. And the gallery directors felt that it was such a success, that it was such a good exhibition, that they have now extended it till the end of October. So if you haven't been to see it, please go to the Carousel in Nottingham and see the exhibition because the work there is so varied um, and just so beautiful. And of course, my piece of work is there too. You can also go online as well and buy the prints. Some of the work you can buy like the original, so say the eggshells, or Emma Lloyd has done her beautiful liquid light tiles. You can buy the originals. Being away in Nottingham, we decided to do a little bit of sightseeing. A lovely gallery there with exhibitions, some wonderful historical, interactive historical bits. to Nottingham Castle which has 
recently opened. Recently is in the last couple of years. They've uncovered the caves underneath. We went on a tour through some of the caves. They're still working on opening the rest. And then my, so my family are from nearby Nottingham originally. And my uncle had taken me when I was little and I don't remember it at all, but he sent me some of the pictures of me as a kid around the, the base of Nottingham Castle. This was before it was open. And so we decided to go and try and recreate some of those pictures. The interesting thing about the pub that I photographed here is that it is the oldest pub the oldest inn in Britain. I think it was 1179 AD it was built, which is just unbelievable. If you purchase my print, that will be the first money I've made out of an actual photograph, I think. I think. <laughs> so it will be just an immense honour. So. Yeah, either go and see the work, or if you if you'd like to go, you can go and buy a print. Um, I will put the links to the website in the description so that you can find where to to get it.